but oh god he's he's crashing my video look at him dancing around <laughs> oh what is going on youtube one other extra i'm here oh what a day what a day what a day it's 70 degrees outside it's gorgeous and i'm on my wonderful aprilia 1100 factory uh so what are we doing today uh we're gonna go meet up with crow arizona put his uh, little link in the description to his youtube channel below and he just got a 2017 zx6r that uh i think he might let me test out and ride a little bit so we're gonna meet up here i gotta get some freaking gas and we're gonna go run up the mountain so stay tuned get some fun times what do we got here it's 2017 zx6r mr crow arizona not paying attention but there he is is gracious enough to let me take his new beast out on the road and not just any road you know the mountain of all roads so let's see how this goes <laughs> start this thing oh we're in first gear oh yeah it just fires right up okay let's feel this clutch out a little bit oh wow the engine braking wow okay that's gonna take some good news too <laughs> brakes okay <laughs> I feel like a noob right now riding this thing the noise there we go I'm not hugely keen on the brakes right now maybe give it a little more time She needs to sing. When you twist the throttle, it's very, very smooth once you're in the right rev range. When you're not in the right rev range, uh, it's a dog. But you know, I haven't ridden a 600 in forever. Remember, it's a stick sticking out right there, yeah. <laughs> so what are we talking about here with the ZX6R? Well, we're talking about a 636cc motor that puts out 131 horsepower and 52 foot-pounds of torque. Now that sounds like a lot, but I tell you what, it is put down beautifully. It's one of these things that all you got to do is twist the throttle and it goes. Now we'll say first gear. Wait, wait a second. Here we go. Here comes Crow on my Aprilia 1100 factory. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so naturally, if I use his bike, he's got to use mine. That's just, you know, how friends do things. Back to ZX6R, it puts down the power in such a way that is super linear. It comes on very smoothly, but I will say that first gear is kind of a dog. It doesn't really do anything. Even once you get it above 8,000 RPMs, which seems to be the sweet spot for this bike, like as you go through second, third, and fourth, at 8,000 RPM, the bike just screams, it comes alive, and it really, really, really starts to rip. And you really start to feel that 131 horsepower kick in and that 52 pounds of torque as you come out of a turn, really pushes you along very nicely and very smoothly. All right, that's uh, that's a lot for the brain to take in in a short amount of time here. The clutch you gotta get used to. There we go. Eight grand and above. This bike is super, super happy at eight grand and above. The engine braking is quite insane. I'm having trouble being super smooth on the throttle, but. Once I get used to it, we're good. She is, she needs the revs. My jacket is unzipped. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a reaction. Let's get a reaction. What do you think? <laughs> I'd say there's a smile under that helmet. What I will say that I'm not a fan of are these right here, these brakes. These brakes, nothing really seems to happen when you squeeze these brakes. So when you come into a turn pretty quickly, it's kind of rough. So first gear in this is kind of a dog. 
but once you get again well above second gear is where it really starts to have some fun uh, the brakes are not super confidence inspiring uh, honestly they feel like when you pull them that nothing's happening they're very hard feeling and not in a good way they don't really grab so they're a little wooden if you will aside from that though yeah see I just I just want a little more confidence to run in the turns and I don't know that I have that with this bike right now I wish they had a better bike to them I wish they had more feel to them when you squeeze them you're not sure if you're slowing down you're not sure if you're going to hit that turn quite right and that is one major downside that I see of this motorcycle is its brakes don't stay at speed dude <laughs> oh yeah okay okay very nice the clutch feels really good once you actually again have it in the correct rev range this thing's fun <laughs> like the power doesn't come on in an insane way where you feel super intimidated where it's like oh my god this is just so much power no it's it's powerful absolutely but nothing that you can't really manage and it comes on in such a beautifully smooth way i love bikes that don't follow the normal paint scheme and by that i mean it's a kawasaki kawasaki's are always green this bad boy is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful white. And I tell you what, this white is something else. It's just gorgeous. Now, one thing that Kawasaki is kind of lacking is right here. I don't know what that was. Anyways, back to this. The dash for 2017, uh, I think we're lacking there, guys. We need to step this up. Something that Kawasaki has always had is a great motor, and they've always felt a little on the shaky side in the suspension. That isn't the case with this bike. This suspension feels very good going around turns. You feel very planted. I can see why people dig these bikes, because it's super compliant in everything you do. She's a screamer. <laughs> this thing, I can see why you wear earplugs. Holy crap, is that exhaust loud. Man, it's just got that resonance, like, it just gets right into that tickle of your ears. Exactly. And then uh, once you get past nine grand, it's rough, man. Which is funny, because I'm used to a lot of bikes, but that's a different pitch. So, thank you, sir. It seats well. You're not too crazy lean forward. It's comfortable in that regard. Now, how does it compare to a CBR 600? I think it's more lively. I think it's a lot more fun. I think it's a little more peaky than a CBR. While the CBR is probably a little easier and more comfortable to ride, I think this has the edge over a little better performance and a better handling. So if you guys are looking at something that's in the 600cc range, that's a sport bike, consider this Ninja right here. It is a solid, solid motorcycle. Again, thank you, Mr. Crow Arizona, for allowing me to take his beast out. I think I'm done with this video, being blinded by the sun. You all have a good one. I'm out.